Only next to Millie, Luna has had the least amount of character development in Hell the Boss, but as IMP's receptionist, I didn't really expect much from this character. That wasn't until I rewatched the series for my season 1 review and keeping up with season 2 that I noticed how much subtle development Luna has been getting for herself and with her relationship with Blitz. Yes, I too hate it when a female character's only worth is tied to a man, but in the case of an affection starved him to adopting a pitiful hellhound, I'd say Luna has grown so much due to her forming a bond with Blitz. When looking at season 1, heck, even the pilot shows that Luna actually does appreciate Blitz, albeit in a very subtle way, but at least she's not outwardly attacking him either. On the surface, I didn't really care much for Luna. I was really neutral about her. I didn't hate her, didn't love her. She was more meh for me. Some people thought she stood out too much due to her, and I quote, furry bait design, which I never understood that criticism because Luna's aesthetic fits fine in hell. Her sharp outline and gothic clothing suits her just fine. Plus, all the citizens in hell have the same design philosophy of being extracentric. I'd say the only problem is not being able to tell a hellhound from any other furry sinner. We know that Luna was nearly 18 when Blitz adopted her, and they've been together for about 5 years now. Putting Luna in her early 20s, let's say 23 at the oldest I'm guessing, so Blitz constantly babying and coddling her would rightfully get on anyone's nerves. While Blitz is doing a better job than his own father did, which is a very low bar considering well, it's Blitz. This guy either drove or pushed away every relationship he's ever had, and is now taking all that repressed love and dumping it onto Luna, who, as we see, is not used to nor enjoys affection because she just doesn't know how to process it and Blitz smothers her constantly. But you'd think after five years of living with Blitz that Luna would have gotten used to it by now, but I guess she's just a tough egg to crack. But it was Spring Broken that added some minor depth to Luna's character and showed that she can be more than just an angry bitch who uses intimidation as a defense mechanism. Watching her try to approach Vortex, a fellow hellhound that she's crushing hard on, was extremely enduring for her character. Luna admits to not having friends and she usually doesn't even join the rest of IMP on their mission's topside. That leaves her all alone scrolling through her phone, reading magazines, and a third thing, which sounds awful and explains why Luna had next to no people skills. She's barely around anyone outside of work, let alone her own kind. So watching her blush, stammer, and lose her cool around Vortex isn't surprising. Even less of a surprise of her blowing up at Blitz after he embarrasses her further with his protective adopted daddish stick. Yelling that she didn't need him then and doesn't need him now, Luna regrets that and has a hard time trying to approach Blitz before he storms off. This is probably the most heated fight these two have had to date, and all the other ones Blitz just let slide. Because Luna's line, He'll get over it. He always does. Implies as such. Luna gets away with disrespecting Blitz because he just lets her. I'm guessing out of fear of losing yet another loved one in his life, even at the cost of being a doormat to your adopted daughter, and he let her slide again after Spring Broken. There was no apology in that episode, showcasing how most if not all of their disagreements end, with Blitz being hurt but giving her endless love and affection, while Luna feels remorse for her actions but can't translate that into a decent apology. At most, these two seem to bond better when they're ridiculing Moxie, like in the Harvest Moon Festival. And even when she's annoyed, Luna still came when Blitz called her, albeit at her own leisure, but at least she came, so Luna does have some sense of loyalty to Blitz. In Truth Seekers, Luna knows Blitz well enough to tell when he's actually being serious. Blitz was using a total of zero euphemisms, innuendos, or swears. That means it was serious. So it's not outside of the realm of possibility that Luna does pay attention to Blitz's habits and can read him fairly well. In IMP's fight against dorks, she jumps mid-air to stop a blade from harming Blitz, and the two even work well together in combat. Luna was giving no one is allowed to hurt Blitz but me kind of energy that episode, and while that's also not a healthy mentality to take any relationship, it again reinforces that she does care for him. What Luna lacks in her words, she can make up with in her actions. Spring Broken was the episode that humanized Luna, ironic I know. Although she might not have gotten a boyfriend in the end, she obtained something even more valuable her first real friend, and a taste of the social life as we see in Queen Bee. 
After ignoring Blitz's call, Luna tries to blend in with the rest of the hellhounds at the party, but it seems that she's made a bad name for herself due to puking at previous get-togethers. She makes matters even worse by nearly picking a fight with another hellhound. If not for Vortex, Luna would have felt even more out of place. Girl does not know how to handle situations without confrontation. And meeting Tex's girlfriend, the Lady of Gluttony, Beelzebub herself, breaks the camel's back and shatters what little self-confidence she had left. Luna can't compete with a sin, Vortex was way out of her league. Feeling defeated, she calls Blitz to pick her up. Note that in the beginning of the episode, she was in what I'm guessing is the hell equivalent to an Uber when she first arrived at the party. Instead of breaking down in front of even more strangers that could judge her, Luna would rather rely on her dependable father. Aww. But Luna must seriously be in heat or something because all it takes is a smooth talking hellhound to convince her to come back to the party. At least she won't be alone since some of the people recognize Blitz there. Aww, daddy daughter night out. You love to see it. Blitz letting loose after what happened at Aussie's gives Luna back her confidence and she starts to make friends especially after Blitz beat B at her own game. Yeah, that's my dad! I love this scene. I love this moment for both of them because Blitz has finally earned Luna's love and Luna calling him dad loud and proudly was greatly satisfying. Later on, B notifies Luna of Blitz's behavior at the party and to just check up on him, which she seems to take offense by. Luna is well aware of how much of a hot mess Blitz can be, so maybe she felt threatened by B. I I mean, she already has Luna's crush, so how dare she assume what's best for her father, too? Gah, the nerve. This was a bit of a decisive scene, but I think Luna was still jealous of B since she's a lot more easygoing and everyone loves her. Quite the opposite pair they are. No wonder people ship it. After getting Blitz out of the party, Luna takes great care of him once they're home placing him on the couch, giving him water, and even in his sad, drunken stammer and going on about being alone, she answers yes to always being there for him. Queen Bee brought Luna and Blitz's relationship forward and expanded upon those social issues she's had. Luna went from nearly calling Blitz dad in Spring Broken to barking it out loud in Queen Bee. Now, I don't expect Luna to become a full-on daddy's girl at this point. We need Octavia for something. But moving forward from here, she could have had more subtle moments of warming up to Blitz. Character and relationship-wise, that would make perfect sense. However... While season one did a great job of progressing Luna's relationship with Blitz and showing that she can be more than an angry goth girl, season two, specifically seeing stars, regressed her back to negative day one. Blitz finally putting his foot down and telling Luna her people skills need work did not warrant her throwing him around the office like a rag doll. This behavior feels so out of left field considering, from what we know, Luna has never put her hands on Blitz to this degree. If she started like this and progressed to just growling and insulting him, then that would have been just fine. But no, this makes absolutely zero sense as to why she's being worse to him now especially considering the night of Queen Bee, which must have taken place a few days to a few weeks afterwards. Luna's talk with Octavia about dads trying their best would have hit so much harder if Luna herself wasn't mistreating Blitz this episode. If not for how this episode handled Luna, that speech would have brought her relationship with Blitz full circle and her bonding with Octavia would have been all the more meaningful because she's speaking from experience. It could have been a great, genuine moment. But as always, Hell of a Boss has great, genuine moments that they didn't lead up to and they didn't earn it. But this episode has the goal of Luna putting Blitz down further, yet she was endearingly smirking at him after knocking him down? Like, what? Mixed messages, guys. Are we meant to believe that she's a jerk who cares or just bullies him for shits and giggles? Because we can go either way at this point. And as for Luna's hellhound flashback, I'm only taking that with a grain of salt because it was from Blitz's perspective, and he's not the most reliable narrator. That flashback really hammered in that Luna was miserable and had no purpose, but for all we know, if we got Luna's perspective, she could have been running that pound like a kingpin. Blitz wanting to reconcile with Luna about replacing her and apologize would have been such a sweet moment for both of them if not for... Oh, I'm so sorry, I'll never replace you no matter what you... <laughs> You're good. Ooh, yeah. I don't care what the diehard part of the fandom says. No amount 
amounts of mental gymnastics will justify this. Even with her puppy dog routine and western energy- God, that's such a stupid name! I don't mind Luna not being given spoken lines since seeing stars, but this was a wasted opportunity for her and Blitz to actually bond and rekindle that father-daughter relationship that they had going in season 1. Luna is the boss's young adult daughter who's emotionally stunted due to spending her childhood in a hellhound pound. She puts up this angst goth girl persona to hide the socially awkward puppy she truly is. And in a place like hell, if you can't fight back, you're as good as dead. Luna and Blitz were making some real progress in season 1, but season 2 just feels like it's undoing all that work. I really hope that the next time Luna gets an episode, that she isn't regressed down to being nothing but a bitch again.